In this uh, mini video, what we're going to do is we will show you two things. Number one, how to create a relationship between an engagement that a caterer might book and employees who might cater products at that particular engagement. In this case, an employee can do many engagements and an engagement can have many employees involved. So what we need is a many-to-many -many relationship. And to do that, you need a junction table. So I put the table in the middle here and I click on it and I change its name to employee engagement. And because it's a many to many relationship, this table doesn't have its own primary keys. Their values get supplied by the employee table and the engagement table. So I have to create two relationships. This is in Crow's foot notation. This is the one end right now. If, it's, you don't, if you're not in Crow's foot notation, you can go to Database, Display Options, and then click on Relationship, Crow's Feet. Anyway, here I am, back, and I'm going to take this one end, the one end of the, the relationship, and put it on the employee table until it lights up red. And then I take the many end of the relationship, indicated by the flared end there, it looks like a crow's foot, and put that on the employee engagement table. I let go, it puts an employee ID as a primary as a foreign key right in the employee table. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab another relationship line and put it over the engagement table. And I'm going to take the many end and I'm going to put it on the employee engagement table and hit uh, let go. And that means that we've got two foreign keys in here that point to the that kind of reconcile the employee with what engagement he's working on. And then what we do is we have to promote these two foreign keys that we've just created to the status of primary keys as well. So we go to the employee engagement table, click on columns, and then we click on PK, PK. And that means now we have a concatenated key made up of the employee and the engagement date and time. The other thing that uh, bears discussion is the fact that this caterer wants his database to enforce the idea that there can only be one engagement at one given time. This is to prevent overlapping of uh, engagements or double booking. So to handle that, we have a primary key that is made up of the date and time of the event. So if it's May 5th, 2015 at 7 o'clock p.m., you can't have another engagement at that time. That's what the, the uh, primary key feature in the access will enforce. So that anytime anyone tries to enter in an engagement on the same date and time as another, engagement and then there'll be an error message saying you can't do that. Okay now that's the so we've figured out the many-to-many -many relationship we've described how we can enforce only having one date and time at any given time for an engagement. The last thing we have to deal with is the fact that there's a special relationship between the employee table and the engagement table. At any engagement, at each engagement, you want to have one employee who is special in that they're the assistant chef. Presumably they're in charge of the whole event. So to do that, you have to think now that each engagement has one employee who's an assistant chef, and that assistant chef can actually be an assistant chef at many different engagements over time. So what that is, that is a one-to-many relationship. So you, we need to draw another relationship line here. So we grab this and we use relationship and we put it on the employee table and then we take the many end and we put it on the engagement table until it lights up and that puts an employee ID in this table that refers to who the assistant chef is so if you want to know who's managing that event you go to the engagement table you look at the employee ID and then that'll tell you over here who that employee is to prevent confusion I often will go into this engagement table and when it's a special relationship like that I would then put in assistant chef ID as the name of this foreign key. It doesn't matter that this column name is the same as this employee ID that it points to. In general it's a good idea when there isn't a special relationship. However, when there is a special relationship, I think it's good to indicate exactly what this employee does at this engagement. So to give it the title Assistant Chef ID, pointing to a specific employee ID in this table is a good idea. And that's how you resolve many-to-many -many relationships in this database, how you enforce having only one date and time for each engagement, and how you handle a special relationship where you have an employee who has a special role in a particular engagement.